Hey guys, Bowler here to talk about SF2 Beta's first patch, update 1.0.1. .1. It's great to see that Beta is already having its first update only a week after release, so hopefully the devs will continue to update and support the game. If you guys want to see the full list of changes to this patch, there's a change log in the description below, but I'll be going over what I consider the most important changes. Firstly, to update your game, when you start it up, it'll search for updates. After a few seconds, it'll begin updating. It'll take about 5-10 to 10 minutes, but after it's finished updating, you can play the new version. You know it's the right version when it says 1.0.1 .1 in the bottom right corner of the title screen. The first major change is a fix to online mode and its stability. This should prevent people from getting stuck on 3 before the match starts and should help with improving online in general. For my playtesting earlier today, the online seems to be working a lot better, but this also might be because there's less traffic. Stock match sudden deaths were also added into this game in this update, and that's kinda cool. This means in a stock match, when time runs out, you'll go to sudden death. Event 22, Roll Reversal, has been fixed and is now beatable. All you have to do is use your final smash on the opponent. The event, Battle of the 99 Heartless, was made easier by giving Sora two stocks and take less knockback. Also, you no longer unlock the stage Desk from beating Event 26. Instead, Desk is now a starter stage. Now I'll go over some brief minor changes that I think are still worth noting. You can now pause in arena mode. They fixed desync issues with Bomb Factory. Changing the rules from online mode won't lock the room anymore. Milliseconds are now showed in grey on the timer and various bug fixes from assist trophies and e-tanks. Now onto the character changes and balance changes. Game & Watch's down tilt now is a win box, like he does in Smash 4. Bowser Fireball now has a fixed knockback. Meta Knight can no longer do his down air slide like he could before. Here's an example of what it looked like. Sheik's up smash now has a final hit and can kill. Goku got a few nerfed. He takes percent much faster while on Kaioken, and his back throw has less hit stuff. Chibi Robo up special now connects all the hits. DK's cargo throw up throw has a lot less end lag, making it easier to follow up off. Pac-Man's Galaga now has more hit stun, and it's easier for Pac-Man to recatch his fruit. That's a tech I showed off in my Pac-Man Advanced Tech video. I highly recommend that Pac-Man mains watch that video. Mega Man got a nerf on his down special, which does less percent. And lastly, the biggest changes were to Tails, who got quite a bit of buffs. If you want a full list of his changes, there's a link in the description below. His up smash now kills easier, has less lag, and connects better, as well as him being able to do it out of his sliding up smash and stops when you land a hit. This sliding up smash is really cool. His down smash now kills better, and his back air has more knockback and a bigger hitbox. He also received some buffs to his down throw and forward throw. He also received a higher recovery with up special, and he can now turn around easier from his jumps. Overall, these changes really help Tails, and we'll see how good he really is. I'm curious what you guys think of this new patch, tell me in the comments below. That's about all for this patch, I hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching.